Hello, my friends. It's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to make a clean and delicious spinach frittata with peppers and feta cheese. This is a super simple recipe that comes together in no time, and it's perfect for breakfast, lunch, or even as a really light, fresh dinner. And I really enjoy adding frittatas to my meal prep as well because you can eat them cold out of the fridge or room temperature. And I love knowing that I have an option in the fridge that is rich in protein and packed with veggies. So to get started, I've got my oven preheating at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So the first thing I like to do is prep all of my ingredients. And for my vegetables, I'm starting with five ounces of baby spinach. Now I always buy the baby spinach pre-washed in a container just like this. It just makes it so easy and so convenient. And then from here, I just give it a rough chop. I'm gonna end up with about four cups of chopped up baby spinach. So you could use the spinach or any other green or, or any other vegetable you enjoy. Really just take this recipe and use it as your blueprint using your favorite flavors or whatever you have on hand. Then I have eight ounces of these little baby bell peppers. We love keeping these in the house as a snack and I just slice them into thin rings for the frittata. So I need one cup of that and then finally a shallot which is really just a mild onion and I'm just gonna again peel that and slice it into nice thin rings. The only other filling that I'm gonna use is some feta cheese. Now, whenever you're buying feta, try to buy it in block form like I have here because it's always going to be fresher and creamier because they don't need any anti-caking agents or anything when they're packing it. And then from here, you just crumble it up yourself. Always a great way to get your hands on the best feta. Then for the body of the frittata, I'm using eight whole eggs. I personally recommend buying pastured eggs whenever you can. These are not only the most nutritious eggs you can get your hands on, but they are also the most delicious. And then I'm using eight egg whites. Now I like to add the egg whites just to keep things a little bit lighter, plus it boosts up the protein in the frittata. But if you prefer, you could do all eggs, in which case you would use a dozen eggs. If you're doing the egg whites like I am, what I love to do is buy them pre-separated just like this, and then you can just measure them out. So eight egg whites would be equivalent to one cup of egg whites. Then I'm adding just a couple tablespoons of milk. You can use any type of milk you prefer. The more fat in the milk, the richer the frittata is going to be. And then a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Gently whisk this all together and we are ready to whip up the frittata. So over at the stove, I have a 12 inch cast iron skillet heating up over a medium low heat. I love using my cast iron skillet for the frittata because it's so durable. It's just a great pan to have on hand. It will cost you about $25 and it will last you a lifetime if you take good care of it. So I am a huge fan of the cast iron skillet. As the pan starts to heat up, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of coconut oil, let that melt, create a nice thin coating at the bottom of the pan, and then in go my shallots and my pepper rings. I'll give that a pinch of salt and we'll gently toss that around. I'm just gonna let this go for about five to seven minutes. I just like for the veggies to soften up a bit, but they still have a little bit of a bite to them. So I don't necessarily want them to brown or to get too soft. Then I'm ready for my spinach. So this might look like a lot of baby spinach going into the pan, but if you've ever worked with fresh spinach before, you know how quickly it wilts down. So you're gonna see as the spinach hits the heat of the pan, it's gonna wilt down quickly and it's gonna end up looking like about a third of what we actually started with. Once you have the veggies right where you want them, right, vibrant in color but nice and tender, then I'm gonna give my eggs one last whisk and pour it right over the veggie mixture. Then I'm just gonna finish this with the crumbled feta cheese. Spread it all over the top so that when you are enjoying your frittata, you get a little bit with each bite. I let this go for about a minute, just till the sides set up a little bit, and then I'm gonna transfer the pan, do this very carefully, especially if you're working with cast iron because it is heavy, into my 425 degree oven and let that cook anywhere between eight to 12 minutes. 10 tends to be the happy medium. Now, if you guys are enjoying my simple, delicious, nutritious recipes, do me a favor and take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a new recipe. That helps me continue to create more recipes for you.
Now, you may notice that once your frittata is cooked, when you pull it out of the oven, it's going to be puffed up in the center just like mine is. It's totally fine. That's just because when you whisk the eggs, you might have gotten a bit of extra air in there. But you're going to see as the frittata cools down that the eggs flatten back down and it's going to look just like this. Once your frittata is cool enough to handle, you can cut it up into slices. You could do four pieces, six pieces, eight pieces. I did six today, but I will say if you were going to enjoy this as your meal, I find cutting it into fours is just perfect. So you could serve this on its own. You could serve it alongside a nice salad, a sweet potato, toast, really whatever turns you on. Personally, when I'm eating the frittata, I love to top it with a little bit of hot sauce just to add a little extra kick. Mm, 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 mm. It's super light and it's so fresh. You guys have got to give this one a try. It does not get any easier and or more delicious. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers.